Hey, okay, it's Chris here, and this is our training about outsourcing our app. And uh, this is what I've done in the past. This is what I've used. Um, this is a way to get an app done quick and cheap. Okay, what you're doing is this is odesk.com, and you're outsourcing this to countries like Thailand, India, Bangladesh. These are where these workers are from. But I will tell you right now, um, just because they are... Um, you know, charging far less than someone would in the U.S. It does not mean that their skills are any less. Sometimes uh, the fact is they're far greater uh, than the people you're hiring in the U.S. Um, so just so you know that, and you know, it doesn't mean 100% of the time that's true, and I've, I've found some real stinkers also on Odesk. Uh, but there is also, which I'll show you in a few minutes, a profile uh, of each person that once you post a job, you can look through, you can see reviews, you know, stars, uh, you know how many stars they get per uh, project, what they get paid, and just how you know how much have they been working on Odesk. And you know from that, you're usually going to find uh, some really good workers. Okay, so uh, I just want to say also that I really enjoy using Odesk because you know when a project really is going well, uh, I'm using uh, a team here and things are going well, and I can pay them what they're worth. You know I can pay ten dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour, fourteen dollars an hour and someone's used to making $2 an hour, well, you're making a tremendous, tremendous difference in, in some of these people's lives. And yet, you know, all you're doing on your end is doing the right thing, is paying somebody what they're worth, you know. And as long as you use Odesk in that fashion, you're going to have some really great um, relationships that you build, um, and you know, the workers. Again, I don't want to seem Pollyanna about it. Of course, there'll be people that you're uh, going to have some problems with, you know, and you're going to have to deal with them. But uh, for the most part, like I said, this is, this is smooth sailing using uh, Odesk, and it has been for me. Also, just a quick side note, when you do sign up, uh, the sign-up process is very easy. They do need your credit card information to, uh, because you're paying people for projects, and they need to know that you're real. You know, you're not having somebody do work, and then you don't even have a valid credit card. So they need to validate that. They take a dollar or two out. You know, they ask you what the amount was and the verify, and that's how it works. And then you can post a job once you've verified your credit card. And then what you do is you go up here to My Jobs, and we go down here to Post a Job. Very simple. And here we're going to put App Developer. Oh, look, it already popped up even because I've used this before. Okay, so we have App Developer. And then here, Job Visibility. It's public. Um, and then here, Category. So what I put for Category here is I like to put uh, Web Development, okay, or Software Development, uh, either one. You know, let's put software development because, again, if it's more of the programming of the app that you're concerned with, then, you know, you could go with um, the software side. And then here, you know, desktop applications, uh, you know, what's it for, game development, because if it's more for a game, you know, application interface. Uh, you know, the, the, you can, you know, game development, again, if your app has to do with a game, then great, and then you put that. So let's go back here. Let's say your app, you're, you're more interested in the design of the app. You know, let's say it has more to do with, um, yeah, the design and, 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 this, and the look of it. So then you would maybe go to web development um, and then web design or web development and web programming because you know that um, the person that had experience in one is probably going to have some experience in the other. Okay? So you'd want to play around with these. But really what I found, and I, you know, this is really nitpicky stuff. So what I've really found is that as long as you're somewhat in the general area here and then you somewhat put the skills that you're looking for them to have, like, look, application design, right? As long as these things are accurate, then this is really not that all that important. Um, okay? And then description here, you're going to put what you want. So if it's an app for, um, let's say, playing golf, you would say, <clears throat> you know, I am, I'm looking for someone, you know, excuse me, looking, you know, for someone to build uh, me an app in the in the golfing niche, okay, and then you would explain a little bit more about what the app is, what what you're looking for, and what the app does. All right, and then we're going to come down here, and uh, and then here you get to pick if you want to pay them hourly or your fixed price. I always use fixed price, and I'll tell you why. Because well, I mean, I really think it saves me in the end. And again, if an app does well, I always just give a bonus. You know, I just give a big bonus, and um, you know, and that's how I do things. Instead of, but 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 with these kind of projects, with app projects, I don't do hourly. So, and here's also what I do is is for an app that's like 
a base app. If you're if you're putting apps in three different levels, which we'll go into in different trainings, but basically, you know, there's a basic app. There would probably be a middling, you know, an app that would cost, uh, you know, mo a little more. And then there are apps that can get up to about thirty, uh, to, you know, forty thousand dollars to create. So there is a wide range. But for um, a basic app, I always start with five hundred dollars. And you know, guess what? I usually find somebody for that. And you know, this is these are for more basic apps, like I said. But uh, that five hundred dollars goes really far on Odesk. And you know, you may have to pay a little more, maybe six fifty, maybe seven. But between five and seven, you should be able to get a, a basic app made with no problem. Okay. And then you know, the date you want range, and then post a job, which I'm not going to do because um, uh, I don't need somebody at this moment. So now let's go back up to the tabs here, and I want to go to manage work. Okay, we're going to team room. Now I want to show you a little bit about how, how Odesk works in this way. Okay, now we're in the team room, and this is a team I had built uh, for a project, uh, I think, this summer. And here is uh, one of my workers. We're just going to click on her. She, she was actually a fantastic worker, really worked extremely hard. Okay, and now here, okay, let's view her profile first. Okay, and, and and this is also and this is why I picked her. So look, she has seven feedbacks of five stars, you know, and I guess that's all she's had. But the point is, you know, she's worked 335 hours. Um, you know, her her rate was I, I think it was she was a dollar fifty or two dollars. But uh, you know, you see here that you can read the reviews. She was nice to work with, although her core uh, competencies might need some work. You know, and that's the thing too. When I used uh, this particular worker, and no offense to her if she would ever see this, um, you know, I used her in the most basic fashion for for the task I needed. So, you know, again, this is about managing workers, and that, and and once you learn how to manage workers, that's when your business can just really blossom and really bloom, um, and and explode to the next level. And you know, I found what I asked her, "What do you want to be doing every day?" She told me what she told me what she's good at, and she said, "This is what I like to do." Usually, what people like to do is actually what they're good at. And what this particular for this particular project, it was something link building. It was something for the internet to get my blog site about the, our, my, our iPhone app wealth out into the market. And I just had her sit and do a tedious link building. But guess what? She was fantastic at it, you know, and she did a great job. And she said that she enjoyed doing it. So that's you know that's how I like to do things with my workers. Okay, so back up here to her, and now I want to go to, um, let's just go back and um, to the previous page here. All right, and one second. Okay, I'm sorry, the, you know, the back button got stuck. So here we are back to her. I mean, look, $1.56 uh, an hour, okay? You know, and again, I gave her a bonus that doesn't reflect in here, but I mean, she worked 190 hours for me. I mean, think about that. 190 hours. You know, it's a lot of work, and I didn't even pay 300 hours for that. So, you know, and again, she was a fantastic worker with a work ethic that I would, you know, would rival most people uh, working for in America. You know, and that's just a fact. So now we're just going to view her work diary, um, just to show you. Now, this is what's really special to me about Odesk and why I felt comfortable right away using it is that, you know, I can go in anytime I want and look at a project and see from the screenshots uh, how much success or, you know, how much progress, rather, my um, worker is making, okay? So uh, let's see. Now we're going to need to go back some time here. Um, she worked, let's see, I think it was in July. Uh, let's try, let's see, somewhere in the mid-July here. I think, oh, okay, great. So now this is her work desk from that day. So if it was July 16th, then what I would do is I could go in at any time, uh, you know, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., as you see. And again, because they're uh, working from other countries, that's why they're working at 4, 5, and 6 a.m. Um, and then what I do is I can actually, so first of all, this sidebar here, this is showing you how much typewriter act, keyboard activity is going on. Okay, see that activity level 9? Uh, 126 keyboard, okay, 135 mouse. What this means is that there's act they're actually doing something. You know, they're not just flashing up different screens. You see, uh, you know, and, and and showing, thinking that I'm just, that they're doing work. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is pause this video, and we'll be right.